family, Black Power, uh, to everybody out there. This is Floyd Williams once again, and a little brief message dealing with um, the way of life, the universe, and energy. <clears throat> so, the whole key is, and, it, and the basis is, our thoughts, which go on to be words, and words which go on to become action. It operates from the base, okay, to the inside out, almost We could say stages, okay? I can sending steps, rising steps, um, mounting steps, okay? And then it projects out. And from there, an environment is created around us a world is created for us you may not see it at the outset or the beginning but that world is there and it all starts from the thought the thought is the seed and from that seed or implementation and birth of that seed once it is sown everything else that ensues and comes behind it look at it as the nourishment the water okay and the light and that is the thought, the thought or thoughts that you feed yourself after the initial planting of the seed. So what I'm pointing out is that it's all about the power of thought and the power of mind. You may not at first immediately see the world or the environment that you desire, you want, craving, yearning for, or that you are trying to build or bring to pass. But you must understand and know that thoughts are energy. Thoughts are energy, and these thoughts, the thought has a direct correlation and connection to our aura, to our aura, okay? And so, the thoughts being energy, it sets up a certain vibration and frequency rate, which starts to rearrange things around us in a realm that you cannot see, but it's there. You know, it's there. It's like an intangible reflection is there, though. Unconscious, subconscious, conscious, that ascending um, pathway and stairway, those ascending and winding stairs, okay? But once you get to the top of those stairs, okay, you come conscious now we are moving and dealing with the stage of action and manifestation you have to have belief and confidence in yourself foremost and cannot be afraid afraid to take chances and risk and just go for it all because the world that you desire you already created it within yourself and your being. 
and your energy starts to vibrate so high and you start to feel so good okay so the only thing left to do is to walk into it walk into that world it's waiting on you it's waiting on us it's waiting on you and it's waiting on us so the only thing you have to do is to walk into it walk into it and from there things will begin to line up and things will begin to work and eventually come to fruition you eat from the tree you eat those fruits but it's all about the cultivation of that seed all about how you cultivate that seed and how you nourish it but the world that you desire and want is waiting on you and is waiting on us you just have to step into it okay and that's how it goes step into it and long as you, your mind is pointed and focused things will start to fall in place for you and come to you dealing with knowledge you may be thinking along the lines of a certain frequency but then suddenly that which you was thinking on moments later it comes to you it could come to you by way of somebody telling you something Okay, and you're like, now nah, I was just thinking about that. Okay, you could be reading a book, but yet in that book, you have an epiphany, but exactly what you need is omitted from that book. It's not quite as plain as you would want it to be, but yet somebody ends up mailing you, somebody ends up mailing you a book. This is my book, I'm the author of it. But somebody ends up mailing you a book or you end up stepping into a store looking around at a series of books and one book just uh, projects itself as pointing out at you and you are drawn to and you are grabbing you just open up the book go to the page and there it is what you was reflecting on and trying to ascertain it's right there before you you see things start to line up and fall in place but you must move with confidence and belief and move in power Cannot allow fear to creep in and doubt creep in and second guess yourself. Right then in that moment, you put yourself in a state of inertia and stagnation and you will not move forward, you see. And ultimately, this inertia and this stagnation is the impediment and the flow of energy. It is the impediment and the flow of energy. Okay, the world that you want, it's already there. But with the impediment and the flow of energy, you, you go to rearranging uh, the atoms. Okay, you go to rearranging 